Hi everyone, I'm testing the Winchester Bonded PDX-1 38 Special Plus P 130 grain jacketed hollow point. I'll be using the SimTest Media, very comparable to ballistic gel with four layers of denim. Test gun is the Smith & Wesson Model 438 with just under a two inch barrel. One aspect of the PDX-1 that I really appreciate, and it has nothing to do with the bullet design, but marketing and availability. Winchester is flooding the market with this cartridge, not just in 38, but other calibers as well. You can get these uh, typically at your Walmart, your Dick's Sporting Goods, other big box retailers. Uh, pretty much all my independent gun stores in the Middle Tennessee area are carrying several boxes of each caliber of the PDX-1. This is a very popular load for law enforcement. It is a bonded bullet. For bonded bullets, you are expecting uh, enhanced barrier penetration, say through windshield glass, sheetrock, automobile doors, and so forth. And civilians like to have those characteristics as well and, uh, when possible, carry the types of loads that our law enforcement folks are going to have as well. Somewhat of a controllable load, you can see in that three-shot sequence with the Smith & Wesson 438, that is a 1 and 7 8 inch barrel. Advertised velocity by Winchester is 950 feet per second. I'm thinking that's going to be from a 4 inch barrel. And this little uh, so-called 2 inch barrel, I'm coming in much lower, 860 feet per second, 5 shot average. So we're going to try this in the sim test. It's going to be calibrated uh, in the ballpark of ballistic gel. Very comparable with four layers of denim. I'll be shooting from 10 feet. I do expect the bullet to hold together. I do expect uh, some pretty decent penetration. What I'm anxious to see is expansion. We don't want that cavity to get clogged. Let's find out. Pretty good shot placement. Let's break out the knife. We're looking at the right side of the damage path, and this is actually reversed. The top is the bottom. That's the actual bottom of the block. I'm just doing this for the lighting and the camera angle. Here's the point of entry. We always see a little bit of denim in the first couple of inches, but one thing that's missing here, and this may give you a clue as to where we're headed, we usually see some type of stretch cavity anywhere from three to five inches in. We're not really seeing that. Passing straight through at this point, and again, this is reversed, so it starts taking a downward turn. And let me jump down to the ruler real quick. 17 and 3 quarters inches, 22 inch block, so it almost came out. And there it is, the bullet is reversed, and it did not expand. Looks like there are some denim particles in there, so it did clog, and it carried denim all the way through the damage path. Let's take that out and get a closer look. There's the culprit, this plug of denim that was picked up as the hollow point passed through those four layers. Those are all four compacted there. It was carried for the greatest majority of that path and then deposited just before the bullet stopped. So it wasn't in the actual cavity uh, when I removed the bullet, but it was very close to that. So that's the problem there. No jacket slippage on the base. Everything is working well there. So I have to ask a couple of questions among several. One. Would this have expanded had the denim not been there? May have to test that at some point uh, just to confirm. Second, and this isn't just for the PDX-1 or this caliber, but for all bonded bullets, is there a threshold at which uh, the bullet cannot go below for velocity in order to uh, give us a better, a better uh, success rate of this not plugging? Or if it does plug, would it still expand? Just a question. 0.353 on the diameter. Fluctuating on the weight, 129 and some change just because of movement. And finally, please keep in mind that all of my ammo tests are a single representation in a controlled environment. Anything can happen. Anything can happen in your own testing with your own type of media and structure. And certainly on the street where it really gets crazy, where you have all kinds of variables that are thrown at you. So keep that in mind. Uh, again, this may be an issue of not so much bullet construction overall, but four short barrels with much lower velocities. If someone could test this in a longer barrel 38, uh, that might answer some questions for us. And again, at some point, I'll probably test this in just the media only without denim.
Thanks for watching.